cameras on one man. Three goals in his last three matches, and you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. Plenty of excitement in the air. You can feel it already here at the Estadio de Balaidos. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Celta Vigo against Girona. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And that is going to be a free kick. And the starting lineup for Celta Vigo. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to Oh, work... Stuart, they've got to score! The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Renato Tapia. Ristic. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with oh, great... Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity! And effectively parried away by the keeper. Well, for Girona, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Real Sociedad. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, I think the scoreline tells us what a comfortable win it was. They scored three good goals and were unhappy at not keeping a clean sheet. Today might be another matter, though. Very difficult to split the two teams, at least on paper. It might just be that one bit of quality, a bit of magic, that could be the difference. Garcia. And they know they need to stop him. To put them ahead. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Miguel Baeza. And that was a very fine read. Renato Tapia. And Celta have it back now. Right, a goal update for you in the Barcelona game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Barcelona. It's now 1-0 with 19 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, possibilities in the centre. Servi. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. A good and fair challenge. Artem Dovbik. So a throw in here. Viktor Tsigankov. Here's Blint now. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. 
and space to cross it. Will it be? Oh, a chance to put them in an even better position. Well, he's got to hit the target there. What a waste that is. Well, he knows that would have won the game. So frustrating for him. And they have possession again. And they need to get tighter. And made sure the pass wasn't troublesome. Jürgen Strand Larsen could play it in. Well, they kept a shake defensively. Job done for now. Alex Garcia. Well, the counter chance looks very real. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And let's get details of a goal that's been scored at the Estadio de Vallecas. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Real Madrid. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They've scored the opener here with 33 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. And defensive play to be applauded. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Iago Aspas. Just the clearance that was called for. And on the verge of hearing the half time whistle, and they've mostly silenced the home crowd. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here. Oh, they might score here, Stuart. Still ahead by a goal and moving the ball with purpose. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Is it going to be? And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Well, he knows that was the chance to control things here. He can't believe it, can he? What can he do with it now? And playing it through. Herrera. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Garcia. Zigankov. And defending as a unit. There it is. That will do it for the first half here in Vigo. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And he cuts inside. Will he finish? And it's come off the keeper.
Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. Servi. Ristic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Servi. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Another La Liga treat in store for you soon on EA TV. It's Celta Vigo and they'll be facing Mallorca. Is this the moment? An alert reaction to tip it over. Substitution time it is here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, she wanted to let the play flow, but in the end decided that that wasn't possible. Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Girona against Villarreal. Decent-looking pass. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Promising pass. A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again. First to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Four two. Renato Tapia. Fontan and they continue to advance and a lot of options here and the cross smuggled away not a poor ball and easy for the keeper Arnau Martinez Viktor Tsigankov He could pick out a teammate. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Martinez. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. In position, and it's in! The back in front, stunning scenes here! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. is here Fran Beltran
And very nicely positioned to win it back. And new developments at the Estadio de Vallecas. Alex Scott. Yeah, it's another goal for Real Madrid. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. They've extended their lead to three with 68 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Just 20 minutes remaining now. He fancies it. Wonderful block. It's still alive. Danger averted for now. Ivan Martin. Will he finish? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Fran Beltran. Right, news coming through from the Barcelona game. Let's get an update from Alex Scott. Yes, it's another goal for Barcelona. They're pulled ahead by two with 77 minutes played. I really can't see them letting it slip now, Derek. Thank you, Alex. Well read to ease the pressure. Valeri. That's a good-looking ball. Well, they've got to hope that won't come back to halt them. A golden opportunity squandered. Well, that should have sealed the victory. It's a real waste, I have to say. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Franco Servi now. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jürgen Strand Larsen. And in the right position to read it. enjoying space just straying offside Servi he's in behind couldn't grab hold of it oh what an astonishing save well, that save has probably won the game for his team. Brilliant stuff from the keeper. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Oh, good vision. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And over it comes. Servi. Well, time is of some concern. Can they level matters? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors.
Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.